So this is kind of one of the projects I've had everything to build here, and I just needed to get to building it. Um, kind of getting after it. Well, it's snowing out, and you can't really do anything. So this will be a CNC plasma table that I'm working on. As you can see, there's the gantry. There's the Z axis, micro switch. That's where the Z axis motor will go. It's coupled right there. See the screw drive on it. It's got the torch head control micro switch on it. So this will move up and click that micro switch right there. So it can find the top of the sheet, know where it's at. Got adjustability right here, so I can keep the rail square. Motor will go here. That'll be the Y axis, or in this case, it normally would be the X the long way, because I have my gantry run opposite of normal. So I can load sheets from the side. So I can load sheets from this end here. So the gantry will move this way on the Y instead of the X axis. So you can see that rolls pretty good. There will be two motors like this, one on each end. Mounted here. Those motors will be synchronized through Mach 3. We'll drive it along that axis there. And then the Y will have its motor driven here. Everything's going to be gear track dri driven. So that'll move along here this way. So this will move like that, just like uh, basically like a vinyl cutter or something would. It's the same concept. <clears throat> So you can see it's adjustable all four corners. There'd be a uh, pan underneath this. I don't know if I'm gonna run water or not in it. Um, just cause I don't know if I'm gonna heat my garage all the time. Maybe I will if I start making more stuff out here to pay for it. But uh, that's it so far. It's coming along. I got some more bracing down under, under here that's gonna go along the table. Just to kind of shore it up. Um, I have a computer. I'm running a smooth stepper from Warp 9 with a breakout board from Warp 9. Um, running a Pro Promo Torch Height controller. So it will sense height if she, the sheet warps while you're cutting it. I'm going to use my Everlast plasma cutter here. Um, this one has a pinout, and that is for the CNC to turn that on and off and voltage. As you can see here, this one is the 60S. Um, I've cut half inch plate by hand, no problem with that. Um, like for this, I just use it on these little slots by hand. So that's kind of it so far. Uh, plan on making some stuff with this, kits for things, um, like this spring smasher. This whole side could be a sheet cut out of tin in the back and do tab construction. And that way I wouldn't have to use a bunch of tubing and stuff. And something like that could be a um, U-weld kit or whatever you want to call it. So, and something like that would sell for a couple hundred bucks for just the framework. Um, so that's where I'm at anyways, planning to use this stuff for a lot of race car stuff. Uh, I do the signs of vinyl too, and when I'm done promoting UPAR, that's what I plan on getting after is getting back to running my business. So I took this year to kind of build some tools for it. Time to go shovel some snow.